Okay, it is Sunday morning. Uh, I got the trees in yesterday. They're still in the trailer. I'm going to get them unloaded. Now, here's a little background on why I got fruit trees. I'm looking for a little self-sustainment. Damn. Uh, in the years to come, we don't know what's going to happen. I'm covered on freeze-dried food and that type of thing, but, uh, you know, as far as keeping myself going, uh, that's where I'm at with the fruit trees. So I picked a nice selection, several of them, well, actually just the apples, you need two so they can pollinate each other. The rest are self-pollinating. The other thing that I got was um, a box, a, a plethora of sprays and whatnot for antifungal sprays and, uh, you know, fungicide, fungus fighter, lime sulfur spray. Oh, I didn't really need malathion. I don't want that around. And dormant spray. And then, uh, basically, instructions. Trees are not as easy as one might think, uh, especially fruit trees. You have to really take care of them. And one of my dilemmas uh, about getting this, uh, this planting underway is the property. Um, I think I might be too close with the camera. I'm using an iPhone. What I've got is grass. And they, they told me that I should have started in August last summer and sprayed this down real good and killed it. My dilemma is going to be getting the grass out. Otherwise, uh, it's just going to overtake the area. So I, I still haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do that. I'll probably rototill and scoop it all out and get topsoil put in. But today's um, goal is to get, get it laid out and marked where the trees are going to go and, of course, get the trees out of the back of the trailer. Okay, this is what occurs when Bermuda uh, runs rampant. This is my old strawberry patch. It was a strawberry mound, a three-layer strawberry mound. And when it goes unchecked for a very short period of time, uh, this is what you end up with. So there's my biggest dilemma is, is, whoa, is getting rid of the grass. Um, and also, I, I don't really know that much about trees. Um, I planted several years ago, I planted some trees out here and it was rootstock. Oh, let me mention that all of these trees are grafted onto different rootstocks um, for my area, I guess. Anyway, uh, these trees, I don't know if it's going to show maybe in the sun too much. These were all planted at the exact same time and you can see some of them have not flourished. They, the soil treatment was exactly the same. And look at this. It's ridiculous, the difference in the growth. So I'm hoping it's, I don't know what. I, I'm not a tree guy, but I, I'm learning. Okay. I have probably jumped the gun here a little bit, um, but I want to be prepared. So here's my uh, All-American Model 921 aluminum pressure canner cooker and hopefully uh, and new water filters for so I have good clean water. Here's a shout out to Jared and his airplane. He's redo, rebuilding his landing gear and of course here's mine buried in the back. Done as I've set a string line out so I get a nice straight line. I paced off from the face of my hangar building so I'm parallel to the to the building there anyway um, and the reason I'm moving out this far into my little field is because eventually um, I think what I'm gonna do is use this road as a trellis and I'll do um, do a shorter version of what I've got over here by the creek and trellis this thing out uh, for maybe some blackberries or something like that. I have about 300 feet, well maybe a little less than that to play with, 150, I don't know, I have to measure it, but I'll do something along this line here 
um, which I, I made all these posts and pieces and whatnot. So I'm thinking this is what I'll do down the driveway, but just a shorter version of it and then trellis it out. Okay, I've placed, uh, placed my string line and gotten everything sprayed out. It's a pretty straight line. Um, they're set at 15 feet apart. I have this one far enough away from the satellite dish so it doesn't interrupt my signal. I guess I'll be getting rid of the strawberry patch. And so they're 15 feet apart and they're five feet long. I have a guy with a tractor that's got a five foot wide, um, what do you call it, rototiller on it. And so I'll have him till up these little spots here and then we'll try and scoop it all out. And when I taxi my airplane in, I taxi right up, right up this side. So I come in and taxi right up to get my airplane in the hangar. So this leaves me ample space to get the airplane through. And it allows me some wiggle room if I decide to add more, a few more trees. I can put in one more, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to put the fig tree closest to the house. That way I can monitor the bird population. I think they're going to be the ones that are most under attack. Uh, that's where I'm at right now. I took a little bottled water and I moistened the area and then I wrapped it with duct tape. We'll see. We'll see if my little tree survives. It's got some growth here. So we'll, we'll see what happens to this branch and this branch. Backpedaling just a little bit here. I've added one more and this will give me room to taxi the airplane in and out of here and not disrupt the trees. But my reasoning is um, my childhood experience with fig trees was that they get really big. And so I want to uh, probably eliminate this first one because I don't want any risk of blocking my satellite antenna. I've worked hard enough the first time I set this up they came out and they didn't have a satellite pointing that direction it pointed over there and in the winter it shot right through the trees as soon as the trees grew no TV it's the layout because plums I'm sorry pears and apples take different spraying so I'm putting those together so I have the Asian pear the second variety of Asian pear uh, two apple trees two different types of apple trees and then I've got my plum and my peach and my poor little Charlie Brown fig tree and I hope it survives it probably will all right that concludes this portion of the video series of how, to, how, to, how a novice deals with fruit trees. So please subscribe. Look for future episodes uh, when I get start breaking out the shovels and the rakes and the dump trucks full of dirt and that kind of thing. So thanks for watching. We'll check back with you soon. Bye.